Atrioventricular nodal rhythm are also called junctional rhythms as the origin of electrical activity of heart is from AV node instead of sinus node, which is an abnormal electrical activity of heart. In this case, the morphologies of P waves differ because of its non-sinus origin. The whole criteria of diagnosis of junctional rhythms depends on only few things. First, P wave morphologies that is often retrograde or inverted P wave present. Second, P wave immediately following QRS complex either before or after it. And, third, short PR intervals. The changes are most widely seen in lead 2, 3, AVF and V1. The main anatomical structures to play part in this are bundle of his and AV node. Here are all the junctional rhythms you need to know. AVNRT is a reentrant dysrhythmia that depends on the presence of two separate AV nodal pathways, where one pathway having slow conduction and other lead unidirectional conduction block. This is a regular rhythm with a typical ventricular rate of 140 to 200 per minute have an abrupt onset and termination. Note, it's as often preceded by premature atrial contractions. What to remember about AVNRT is here atrial activity generally consists of inverted P waves occurring before, during, or after the QRS complex. It is best determined by lead V1 reading. The QRS complex can be normal or irregular. Atrioventricular reentrant tachycardia, or AVRT, is a macroscopic return circuit consisting of an atrioventricular nodal pathway and an accessory pathway. This arrhythmia is characterized by moving forward down the AV nodal pathway with reverted conduction through the AV nodes or vice versa. Unlike AVNRT, P waves are always present after the QRS complex and QRS complex are abnormally widened. Junctional premature complexes are premature QRS complexes of AV nodal origin. JPCs or junctional premature complexes may have inverted P wave vector in leads 2, 3, and AVF. Occurring immediately before with a short PR interval during or after the QRS complex. Accelerated AV junctional rhythm is characterized by QRS complexes of AV nodal origin that occur at a regular rate of 60 to 100 per minute. These represent a secondary pacemaker and may have resultant retrograde P waves. With negative P wave in inferior leads with a short PR interval. This dysrhythmia is similar to AV junctional bradycardia except faster. AV junctional bradycardia is characterized by QRS complexes of AV nodal origin that occur at a regular rate of less than 60 per minute. These represent a secondary pacemaker and may have inverted P wave vector in leads 2, 3, and AVF that occur immediately before, during, or after the QRS complex with a short PR interval. AV junctional tachycardia is characterized by QRS complexes of AV nodal origin that occur at a regular rate of typically 100 to 200 per minute. This dysrhythmia emerges from the AV junction and serves as a dominant cardiac pacemaker with an abnormally rapid rate. With negative P wave vector in inferior leads with short PR interval, similar to junctional rhythms except abnormally fast.